You can't do anything without energy. The energy industry is going through a big transition and it's to do with global warming. Our work really addresses what we call the energy trilemma. Where we used to be dependent on fossil fuels, there's a drive to transition across to renewables. So our priorities are really to look at how do we facilitate the change? How do we make fossil fuels as efficient as we can? How do we bring in new renewable technologies to replace those fossil fuels? And then how do we address some of the challenges of continued use of carbon? And we've got a limited amount of time to get those solutions into industry. Digitization and digital data systems will enable us to be much more creative in designing market solutions that can support the availability of uh, supply, but also create new business opportunities, new business models, so that we can use energy much more effectively. Being better at using materials, being better at saving energy, being better at generating energy is absolutely vital for our economic wealth as well as human well-being. I get to work with the very best minds the established academics, but I also get to, to work with the new fresh students coming in. So that changes the ways of thinking. We're here in energy to try and change the world. There's a human and very important social aspect to all of this. As individuals, we have to understand how to use energy more effectively, both at the household, in industry, and in transport. And currently, we lose roughly half of all the energy that we put into the system. Our links to industry are multi-dimensional. They come to us and say, we have this problem, can you help us fix it? Industry come and talk to us about projects because they want to work with students who are engaged, keen to understand real life problems, and keen to be part of that problem solving. Cranfield's connection to the industry was useful for the modules because they brought in guest lecturers from industry. I would say to a future student, studying energy and power not to hesitate because obviously climate change is a huge issue that everybody is looking into at the moment. There's something for everybody in the energy sector.